Hi guys and welcome back to another video and this week's video is going to be Kate's backstory, Kate's origin story and you'll have seen uh, asked online a lot of people wanted this video so that's what we're going to do today, we're going to do Kate's origin stories so I hope you guys enjoy it. If you do like and subscribe to the channel it would be greatly appreciated and let's get into it guys. So guys, how we're going to do this video is I'm just going to tell you the story and I'm going to drop in pictures and videos from them times uh, to help translate the story a bit better. So that's how I'm going to do the story and we're going to start right at the beginning uh, when we first met Kate. So as I say, we'll go back to the very beginning. So I first met Kate when I was uh, working on the first farm that I got trained to shepherd and do this type of farming on. And uh, one of the people who worked with me there, they trained uh, working dogs, bought them in at a certain age, trained them, and then sold them on as fully trained dogs. And one of the dogs he got in was Kate. Now, when he first got Kate, it was very evident that she was a very nervous dog. And I don't like to speculate on why. Uh, there could be many different reasons for it. Um, and I actually don't know, so I wouldn't like to say, but she was very nervous and uh, very sort of timid uh, when I first met Kate. So uh, my time was coming to the end of the time that I spent on that farm and uh, the person offered for me to buy Kate. Um, and at first I was quite hesitant. Uh, I didn't know if I had the money, I wasn't sure if I needed another dog. I was kind of struggling with the dog I had who was Hague uh, because I was just very new to handling dogs. Um, so I wasn't sure whether I was going to buy her or not. But Stacy actually, as soon as she met Kate, she just fell in love with Kate and she was like, that's it, we've got to have Kate. Um, she's like, there's no option, you've got to find a way to buy Kate. So that was pretty much it. So I, I actually figured out a deal with the person where I would get Kate and then pay for her when I did have the money. So that's what I did. And when we first got Kate, um, as I say, she was very nervous. She was a very timid dog. She didn't like people standing over her. She was scared of lots of strange things like doorways and things like that. Uh, she hid under the table a lot for the first week. Um, but she pretty quickly came round to realising uh, that we weren't going to harm her, that we were here. And she very quickly got to trust me and Stacey and the other dogs. Interestingly, when Kate first started coming up to get paid by us, she would actually come up over the armrest. So she always had a way to uh, jump away if she had to. And we let her do that because it made her feel more secure. Um, but now Kate is just so relaxed with people she just loves everybody um so she's done really well now over the years she's really come out of her shell and she's almost too confident now to the point where she'll nearly knock you down to try and get attention another thing that really seemed to help kate was actually haig because haig wasn't one of those dogs that uh, seemed to play with other dogs a lot it really took another dog a lot of effort to try and get haig to play with them uh, but for some reason, he wasn't one of those dogs that got up in other dogs' faces. He was very gentle, kind of in his own world type of dog as well. And uh, he actually started playing with Kate, and I think that helped her come out of her shell a bit as well because he was quite um, receptive but not over energetic about her joining, uh, I guess, our family. So at this point, uh, we'd moved house again and we're out living in our guile and Kate actually didn't work for me for over the first six months uh, that we had her. Uh, I did try a couple of times but she just wouldn't work for me and partly I think that was partly my problem because at the time I wasn't a very confident handler 
and Kate was picking up on that and uh, because I wasn't confident she wasn't confident to work for me and um, I was struggling a bit with Haig at the time as well which didn't help my confidence but you could see that Kate wanted to work she was always coming out with me and watching the sheep from the bike and she would always looked like she wanted to get out there it was just something was stopping her mentally um, and as I say she would come with me she just uh, if there was sheep around she wouldn't get off the bike or she wouldn't go out and approach them even though she looked like she wanted to and during this period as well Kate was living in the house uh, which meant she was in the house with Stacy a lot of the time as well and Stacy just working on getting her more confident with people as well so that was good as well and to the sort of end of the time that we spent in Argyle Kate had a litter of puppies to Haig which Storm is one of those puppies and this was another thing that brought out the confidence side in Kate was having uh, went through motherhood and have done it well gave her a tremendous confidence boost as well as seeing us helping her and helping her to have a good pupping uh, I think helped her realize that we were here uh, to look after her and uh, that helped her confidence in us as well and um, as I say towards the end of this time my confidence in handling started growing as well so that gave Kate a huge confidence boost and as the puppies were weaned we moved on farm uh, to the farm I'm on right now and on the first day that I took Kate out after the puppies coming off her was the first day that Kate started to work and at the beginning Kate's work was very fast it was very she was very full on with the sheep um, but I didn't mind that too much because uh, Kate seemed to have a lot more confidence when she was up and going and moving uh, when you tried to bring her to a complete stop she would get nervous she would start to look like she was backing away or getting scared and this is the reason why Kate's never been trained to have a complete stop um, was because when she was in that situation that's when she started thinking negatively about Herden so I decided to always keep her on her feet and always keep that her in her comfort zone where she feels confident um, and I could have trained a stop later on but uh, I just didn't because I didn't feel like changing the goalposts on her uh, I feel like she did pretty well to become as confident as she became to get out there and as her herding progressed she got more and more confident to the point where Kate I would say is one of the more confident dogs I've got even around other people um, Kate just seems to get on with everybody. Another thing that makes Kate such a good working dog is maybe she does have a few quirks and she's uh, not the most obedient to commands but Kate remembers the farm. She knows where every single gate is and she knows what you want to do just by the direction you're going and uh, how you're moving. So Kate actually needs very little commands because of that. You can just send her out and Kate instantly knows what you want her to do and she'll do it her way. So that is um, one of the better things about Kate as a herding dog is she doesn't have to be commanded or watched all the time. You can trust to just let Kate go out and do her thing. And another thing that I find so interesting and great about Kate is she's very independent. Whereas the other dogs will generally stick close to me when I'm going about doing my work. They'll sort of follow me around or be somewhere in the vicinity. Kate's very independent. Kate likes to go do her own thing. She'll come back when you shout her to come back. But Kate goes off. She watches birds. She does her own thing. And she's quite happy to do that. And I'm happy for her to do that as well. Because um, Kate just likes being Kate. She does her own thing. And she loves attention. <laughs> But she also likes being off other places watching the birds as I say or sitting watching the cows in the field and she doesn't cause any trouble so um, we kind of just let her get on with it and do her own thing when she wants to because we know as soon as she shout or whistle she'll just come straight back. 
And guys, that's it for this video. And I hope I explained things well and that let you get to know Kate a little better. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Check out some of the other videos in our channel or leave a comment. And we hope to see you in the next video, guys. Thanks very much for watching.